witchlings. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your local chaotic witch aunt. And today I am talking about some of my daily practices and the daily practices that I love doing, love doing every day. Um, this will probably be a shorter video but recently I've really been encapsulating and working to get weekly, monthly, daily practices really set up and really doing them every day. And I wanted to share some of them with you, partially because um, we talk about this in a podcast episode. I have a podcast, it's called Books and Broomsticks with The Witch of Wanderlust that'll be coming out in three or four weeks. Sorry for like the tease of like, by the way, three or four weeks. But I think that there's a misconception of what a daily practice actually looks like if you choose to do one. And it can be something really, really small, like super small. And it can be something big, like, you know, a spell. Do I do spells every day? No. I don't have time. Um, but I am going to talk a little bit about some of the daily practices that I do every day, weekly, monthly, etc. in hopes that not only tells you a little bit about me, it's something I get to share, something I'm very excited to share um, because I love the practices that I do every day, and also maybe inspire others for etc. One of the things that I do every single day when I wake up in the morning is I turn my humidifier on, it's off right now, and I check on my plants. Um, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ones upstairs, nine plants right now, um, spanning from a whole different, oh, so many different types. Um, one of my favorite babies, it's my Maranta prayer plant. Um, I'm very proud of her. She has four new leaves coming out. One, two, three, four. Um, this one's like almost is starting to unroll, which is like so stupid exciting. This is my Miranda player plant. There's also some cinnamon on here because she had a little bit of mold um, that I had to take care of. Uh, let me know if you also use cinnamon to get rid of mold. But, so I check on my plants every day. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that I will water them every day. A lot of these don't need that much watering, but I do check on them, see how they're doing, etc. every day. Um, that's just to make sure that there's nothing wrong that I can notice with the plant. Um, it's also a really great grounding activity. I love touching the dirt. I love touching their leaves. I love checking in on them. It's something that I really, really enjoy. And I have, you know, a lot of plants, but I'll turn the humidifier on, get going about my day. And if I need to take a shower, I will shower. Um, I do cleanse in the shower, not always in the way that you would traditionally think, but I do tend to do some sort of like prayer while washing my hair because my shampoo has sulfur in it. Um, as well as, so this morning I did a um, like uncrossing before I got in the shower. So I did the uncrossing, said my prayers, rinsed off, went about my day. Another thing that I do every single day without, fo without fail is I anoint myself. I use many different oils to do this. I also anoint my undercaps that I wear with my veils. I am not currently veiled right now because this sweater is my veil. But here are some of my favorite oils that I love. Ooh, and of course, depending on what I'm doing that day, I may switch my oils up, but I have been pretty consistently using a few of these and I love them. Firstly, the Hoxan Paya Payala Troll Oil, Protection Troll Oil. I Hoxan, it's an anointing oil for magical protection, and I love this because it smells like a forest. I love it. Um, they have this in my favorite metaphysical store, Ritual Craft. Yeah, so it's got birch tar, clove, lavender, gilla, barnum, peppermint, cloudberry, and pure organic beeswax. So it is a beeswax base there. So beeswax base, I anoint my feet, my hands, my neck area here, and my heart area. And two of those areas are anointed with my Death Witch Evil Eye Oil. The Death Witch is another oil brand that I absolutely cannot live without. I have so many oils from her, including like my favorites are obviously Success Oil, Evil Eye Oil, I have an Open Rose Oil, I have Fast Luck Oil, I put that on, I got a donut. I made a TikTok about it if you're curious. 
and all sorts of different oils and it was one of those oils too that I used it in my prosperity my money bowl the her prosperity oil and it was like crazy how well it went for me um, you can see I've used a lot of it as in comparison to like some of my other oils like my blockbuster oil a lot has been used that's how much I use it um, I don't always anoint my feet with this I do typically anoint the heart area and this area um, it is protection from the evil eye the little tag fell off but there is a little like Nazar bead in there along with a bunch of different herbs another oil that I use a lot not every day but a lot it's Madame Pamita's uh, Blockbuster Oil. Okay, I love Madame Pamita stuff. I have three of her powders and two of her oils, and it's one of those things that I put this stuff on and I'm like, wow, this is working like a charm. Um, similar to Death Witch Oils. Those are the two oils that I really can't live without, and <laughs> genuinely are those two. So this is to break through barriers, um, remove all blocks to your goals once and for all. It is by Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. If you want to check it out, it's parlorofwonders.com. So if I am doing something related to my business, I will put this, I think there are crystals in here too, but I'm not sure. If I'm doing something related to my business, TikTok, YouTube, etc., I will put this on my feet and my hands for the day. If not, I'll typically do my evil eye oil. I have another oil that I usually wear that I have to find. Where are you? A success is a good one. This one's a little unblocking oil. It's an anointing oil. Please focus. Here we go. Has the Sacred Heart of Mary on it. So this is another one that I've tried. It didn't have as much success with this one, but I still love it. It's by The Dark Exact. Also got this from Ritual Craft. Um, I also love every once in a while the Reverse Negativity Oil by Madame Pamita. Here we go. Um, and this is to send spiritual attacks back to their sender. I use this as a precautionary along with my Evil Eye Oil some days or I use it if I feel like I had some spiritual gunk that I really need to get rid of. I did this and I toggled between Blockbuster and Reverse Negativity all this week along with my normal protection evil eye ointment and some crazy shit happened. And like personal stuff, not anything that's like online, but personal stuff and it allowed me to see some of my blockages and my obstacles within my own life and start to address them, which is great. Another thing that I do, not necessarily every day, but pretty frequently, um, is I, if I, with my undercaps, I use powders because it doesn't leave an oily residue. So I use the Open Roads powder from Madame Pamita. If I'm feeling fancy, focus. Um, I also have her Powerful Protection Powder. Love that. I have done her Grand Success Powder before. If you want to hear my story about that, you know. I also have some Abre Comino, which is uh, typically found in Botanicas. Um, they had it at my favorite metaphysical store and I was really excited because I really love Abre Comino. It, it usually is sent to me by one of my mentors. I absolutely love. And it. this one is by De Cruceles. Smells good. It smells like Florida water, which isn't bad, but it does smell like Florida water. So sometimes I'll use the Abre Camino and flick it on there. I tend more often to use an open roads powder so it doesn't stain with my fails and go through with that. Those are mostly my daily practices. That's it. I anoint my shit. I check on my plants. I go about my day. Will I do a spell every once in a while? Fuck yeah. Do I do a spell every day? Absolutely not. But I did want to do a video in which I could share my favorite anointing oils. In terms of monthly practices, I gotta grab my thingy. Whee! All right, in terms of weekly practices, I burn a little bit of this incense, which is Memento Mori incense, once a week, usually on a Monday. I miss this Monday for my spirits and my ancestors. One of my favorites. Um, it's just a simple smoke offering. I do think it's funny that this is Memento Moria, Remember You Must Die, and I'm burning it for dead things. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who finds it funny, okay? I think other people do, but like my spirits are like, haha, Memento Mori, bitch, you'll die too. So I love Memento Mori incenses from Ritual Craft. They hand make their incenses. Another favorite of mine is my Fiery Wall of Protection incense, which is part of my monthly ritual which I'm trying to implement, but I will wash my doors down and completely cleanse the entire house. So I did, the way I did this is I made a simmer pot with a bunch of purifying herbs. So think bay laurel, 
Rue, Hyssop. I think that was it. There was probably some other ones in there. And then I took that, let it burn down, and then took the simmer pot throughout the entire house. And then I took a little bit of that water and took some Rue cologne and washed my doors down and then washed it down with this the, the simmer pot ingredients with a little bit of Eli oil. And then I saved my simmer pot stuff. I took the rest of it and like put it across the front porch. And then I used this fiery wall of protection incense to burn over each door as well as kind of burn throughout the entirety of the house. I didn't do windows. Why? Because there are so many freaking windows in this house, I would not be able to keep track. And then took the contents of the simple pot and did a spiritual bath, which is basically dump a bunch of it on your head and then air dry, <laughs> which is quite, quite an experience if you haven't had it. Cause you're like dumping a, a very herbal water over your body and then you stand there and you're just like wet and then you smell a little bit after a shower, like uh, like the herbs. And then <laughs> you just kind of sit there like, well, how long is this going to take? I did have to like, I recommend straining your spiritual baths. I did not do that. You can also literally do this in a bathtub. I did not, I don't have a bathtub. And if I, I, I mean like technically there are bathtubs in the house, but do you think my mom would want me dumping a bunch of herbs in there and like turning myself into witch tea? I don't think so. So I used a measuring cup, dumped it over my head, and then forgot to brought the, bring the measuring cup upstairs, which was, you know, quite a surprise when they were like, what, did, what is this? What is this? Why is this in your room, in your bathroom? And I'm like, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> other monthly things. I usually, sometimes I'll redo protection stuff during the month and, you know, do spells. Plants and oils have become the most of my, what I do every day. It's not that I don't do spells still, it's that I don't do them consistent, consistently, I think. And I think there's a misconception that you are doing consistent spells if you're a witch. And I'm like, I did a daily practice video in the past and talked about it. This was more, this is more of a personal practice video in what I do in my daily practice. I should be, praying a rosary more frequently than I think I am. Listen, my mentee had a dream that St. Mary threw the rosary at my head, so I think that's a sign. I also had a book of Catholic prayers fall on my head yesterday, so <laughs> I think I need to pray more. So I'm gonna try to start implementing that, prayers to saints, prayers to St. Mary, prayers to Diana, the like, which by the way, her statue is looking directly at me as I'm sitting here, terrifying terrifying. But yeah, I just wanted to share some of my stuff with you guys. If you have any particular daily practices or weekly or monthly, bi-monthly, yearly <laughs> practices that you do, I'd love to hear about them. Please let me know. Tell me all about them in the comments below. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Relatively short video, but we have some good stuff coming out in the next couple weeks. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember to drink water. Sabanadika.